Hi, Katie here at Vibe. Today I'm gonna to walk you through how you can set up the integration with your cloud storage to your Vibe account. This is a really helpful trick to know about because you'll be able to easily import image files and other types of documents directly into the Vibe software. And then you'll also be able to easily export any of your Vibe boards back to cloud storage as a PDF. Now, the first time that you set this up, you're gonna to wanna to sign into your Vibe account. And then from the toolbar, there's a little plus sign where you can set up this integration for the first time. So, you know, if it's Box, you'll come here, be able to sign into your account, and then you'll be able to access to cloud storage from there. Keep in mind that this is only gonna allow you access to your personal cloud drive. For security reasons, we're not able to integrate with a shared file, like share a SharePoint, um, or if you have shared drives in Google Drive or other storage places. So if you have a shared document you wanna upload, simply make a copy, save it to your personal cloud storage so you can pull it into Vibe, or you can upload a file locally from your computer. I'll show you how you can do that as well. Another thing to keep in mind is the type of file that you can import will depend on the type of cloud storage that you're using. So for any of the options, you can always import a PDF or an image file. So across all of the cloud storage, um, you're safe with this, these two file formats. If you're doing Google Drive, you can also import Google Docs, Google Slides, Google Sheets, as well as Jamboards. And then if you're deciding to use OneDrive or Dropbox, you can also import any of the Microsoft options. So Word, PowerPoint, or Excel, you can import into the Vibe board. Our page limit is 100 pages per board, so keep that in mind. If you have a really big document, you might need to break it up, um, but as long as it's under 100 pages, you should be good to go. Uh, last up, I just wanted to mention our web app. So this is a helpful trick to know about if you have something saved locally to your computer or if you don't use cloud storage, you can still upload documents into Vibe from, your, uh, from the web app, from your same account. So you'll go to app.vibe.us, log into your account there. You'll notice it looks very similar to the board. And then another option to know about is when you go to the plus sign, this is where you can upload locally either a PDF or image file from your computer or from sort of drive that you have access to on your computer. This is also where you can export back as a PDF from this, from this location. So if you wanna export it locally, maybe email it to a bunch of people after a meeting, um, use our web app for an easy export that you can save locally to your computer. But let's take a look at what this looks like on Vibe. So once you have everything set up here, when you wanna import a document, I'll show you what it looks like from OneDrive. So, so let's say I wanna pull in a PowerPoint. That's gonna come through as multiple pages. So once it's done importing, it becomes almost like the background to your board. You can use any of the whiteboarding features on top of it, you know, draw, annotate, add sticky notes. And when you export it, it'll still be there. Um, you can also just, you know, annotate, use this on top. You'll notice at the bottom that the page numbers have increased. So you can easily toggle to different pages, kind of mock it up from there. Other, um, in addition to documents, if you import image files, that's going to come through a little bit differently. So like if I wanted to pull in a logo, um, I can actually pull in multiple images at the same time. It's still going to leave that open. And then once I've imported them, I can resize them, move them around the canvas. I can also lock them there if I want to be able to annotate on top. So that's what the um, image file import looks like versus other types of documents. When you're completely done and you want to export it back, um, come up here to the top and we're going to go over here to export. Then you can select, you know, which cloud storage you want to send this off to. And what it's going to do, it's going to create a multiple page PDF and it will go into a, a new folder in OneDrive or Google Drive that's named Vibe. So all of your PDF exports will go there for you to easily be able to find them. So that's it for cloud storage. Thanks for joining and feel free to reach out if you have any other questions on this topic.